you. It's a dub, I'ma win, I won't lose with this. Ay, yeah, I'ma act a fool with this. Ay, yeah, I'ma. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. The atmosphere here, electric. No matter the venue, the home folks love their silver and black. They are fired up as their Raiders get set to face off with Derek Carr and the Las Vegas Raiders. And we are underway here in Las Vegas. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And they're going to have good starting field position. He's out of bounds, but not before he's across the 35. At their own 38-yard line. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. Here's Carr to throw. They'll find Williams on the slant. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 16 yards on the game's first play and a quick first down. And the Raider first down. How about a guy proving his worth in different ways? Had the big play in the run game to play before. This time, they go right back to him in the passing game. And he comes through with yet another big play. That's why you work out so hard in the offseason, so you can stay on the field and accumulate big plays. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. And three. Good spot. You know that people like to take a shot in this part of the field. But at the same time, as methodical as they've been, they might want to run the ball a little bit here, too. And just on the outskirts of the red zone, they have options now. Either way, though, they've come out with a purpose. And they show run with three tight ends here on first down. Gets past one man. And he's able to get six. A nice pickup nice down to the 21. Nick All right, Brandon, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. At the Raiders' 21-yard line. On second down and four. Carr. Over the middle complete. That's Jacobs. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. I'm not sure if this play was designed for him specifically, but they got through the progressions and got the ball to him. So second catch on the drive, he may not be a primary guy, but they definitely want him involved, don't they? Uh, absolutely. This early, the opening drive, as you said, two catches. So if they can get him going in the passing game, that should open up his running game, too. Jacobs on first and 10. And he'll find his way down right around the 12. Jonathan Hankins hit on the stop. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. To throw his car. And it's caught at the seven yard line. And he'll be taken down at the two yard line. First down, Raiders, car to Waller. How about to start throwing the football? Four for four on this opening drive. Oh, he's slinging it. And oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard, not necessarily accurately. In this case, though, He's honing in on his targets, and he's delivering. Yeah, the opening script. However, they drew it up for this first drive, going to plan so far. They'll run it with Jacobs. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Raiders have taken the early lead. 
quite the drive there to get things started. They took up the bulk of the first quarter, and they end up in the end zone. And I love your last point. Ended up in the end zone. Because a lot of teams like those long drives, especially to keep their offense off the field, right? Keep the ball away from them. But they finished it with a touchdown. That's the exclamation point. Now flip it over defensively. They got to slow that down somehow, right? Maybe they need to be a little more aggressive. Maybe a few more pressures towards the quarterback. Their own 23-yard line. come up first and 10 at their own 23. First carry for Josh Jacobs. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times defenses say, okay, we got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. And it's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three at the 46-yard line. After one, seven-nothing on EA Sports. Raiders seven, Raiders nothing. Working with a second and three. They will run out of the gun with Jacobs. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and handling a little bit of power and you find a way to pick up first downs. Carr with a play fake to Jacobs. Down and open, it's Darren Waller. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there, a 22. Down at the 27-yard line. They'll run on first down. Jacobs. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. He finds his way into the secondary again on this drive. They might want to try and get him down a little closer to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, what do they call that? Third level run, first level being the D line, and linebacker second level in the secondary, the third. When you block it up well and you make the secondary do all the tackling, that will wear on a defense. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Running is Jacobs. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Now second and five. Snap will come from the six. A give to the fullback on the dive. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. On the play. Brings up third down and five. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Shotgun now for Carr. Forced out to his left. The Raider defense strong on that one in coverage, and now it's fourth. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Seven to 3. 
three. three. Well, that's something of a pick-me-up, and the offense certainly has struggled, but they do get the field goal before half to put three on the board. Yeah, you don't want to be shut out, but let's face it, those three points, that's not going to solve all their problems either. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. They had the touchdown on the opening drive of the ball game. It was countered by just a field goal. So, hey, if your guys can do that for four quarters, you're in good shape. Yeah, it is a team game, so that's just good complimentary football. But, you know, I know I'm no brainiac, but you trade sixes for threes, things are going to work out in your favor. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs, and he'll wind up picking up about four as that is going to bring us to the two-minute warning. Nicholas the tackle Morrow made by tackle. Nicholas Morrow. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. And we remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. From the 30 on second down, Carr. That's caught by his tight end, Foster Moreau. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Seven yards there and a first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Working from the gun, it's Carr. That's complete to his tight end, Waller. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. That will go as a gain of 11. Raiders having a first down as well. into the season and you already kind of get the sense that teams are beginning to separate themselves if you if you look at the 2 and 0 teams and remember 62% of 2 and 0 teams ultimately make the playoffs but Baltimore, Kansas City, Green Bay, Seattle, just to name a few, they look really good. They certainly do, and in a lot of ways, those are the teams that we expected to be 2-0 at this point of the season. I mean, it's no major surprise. But how about Arizona being 2-0 as well? People talked about them getting better in the offseason. I don't know how many of us thought they'd beat San Francisco in the opener. They did, then they jumped on Washington this week, and they are 2-0 as well. Now, on the other side of the spectrum, we know the not good news about teams that start 0-2, the Giants and the Jets both there, Detroit, Cincinnati. So again, maybe some more predictable names. Certainly they are predictable. Again, not a surprise for most of them, although many thought Detroit would be improved at this point. But how about a team that's 0-2 that went through a little bit of a difficult offseason like the rest of us, but even more so because of players being gone? How about Houston being 0-2 right now? They won the division last year, and that's a little bit unexpected right now, even though they had a tough opening schedule with Kansas City and Baltimore. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Brings up now it's third down. Seven. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, but frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. From the gun, Carr. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that is caught. It's Ruggs. Touchdown, Vegas. Henry Ruggs. As the first half is winding down, and the Raiders have taken the lead. So they're able to capture the lead here just before halftime. And not only that, they get the ball to start the second half. That's right. This is almost like basketball down the stretch, right, where you get the two-for-one situation where you try and get two shots to your opponent's one. In this situation, they got the touchdown. 
they'll get another shot at to start the second half. Could be a big turnaround. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. 25-yard line. seconds showing to play in the half as they come up here first and ten. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And he's got the hook up to Rose. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A gain of a good pick up there. 26 yards. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. next drive. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten. And he'll be taken down right around the 27. Josh Jacobs. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, everyone's going to want to touch the football. Be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles. Because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. to throw on third and two. Escaping the pressure right. He's got a man. It's Williams. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Carr. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. A completion, yes, but certainly not what they wanted. A loss of a full six yards. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. Operating from the gun. Carr. Being chased out left. He'll run it. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. And give him 10 that time as he was able to get away from the pressure and get a nice game. Partner was a definite passing down, but he was able to leak out and pick up some good yardage, even though the coverage was excellent. Maybe it's not exactly how they drew it up, but he still got a big chunk of yardage on second down. Throwing a 
his car on third down. Trying to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Jeff Heath. And he returns it into enemy territory down the 45 yard line. That'll take over. That is just what this defense was hoping for an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter. Obviously, didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind. And we've gotten to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys, telling the quarterback, don't worry, we got you to start things off. You take it from there. A throw left side to start out. That's complete. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. 14 yards is the pick up there at a Raider first. First down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Car now on first down. He'll let this go for the end zone. And nearly picked it off. He had a chance to come down with that in the end zone, but it'll wind up just being incomplete. Well, but you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those, but the coverage has been excellent thus far, and it was again on the last play. Third quarter from Southern Nevada. Here's a second and ten. To throw again. to throw the ball, and as he tried to do that, he was hit in the first and incompletion. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. an offense can have. When you don't have very far to go, you should cash it in with points. An extra point by Carlson, up and good. And the lead is now 14 to 10. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL where it's a pass first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Jacobs, and he'll be brought down right around the 37. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. First and 10 at the 37-yard line. And they're not 
going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Carr going to give it to Jacobs, and he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. From the 40 now on second down, Carr. That's complete to Richard, the running back. It'll be a pickup of just two, and that'll make it third down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You tackle them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. He'll let this go deep for runs. This is intercepted. Marcus Joyner will pick. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. Brandon, offensively, this has been a tough day for him. Trying to find a place to throw the football. It's been extremely difficult. I've got to give a lot of credit to the secondary, especially the corners who've had the receivers on lockdown. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Another important fourth quarter series coming up. That last INT helping to maintain their slim advantage. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. This will go for five up to the 33. Jacobs, the Raiders. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Jacobs. After a gain of five, they'll wind up being about a length of the football short here on third down. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. for it with Jacobs and he is going to have the first down and that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd he gets seven out of it and he also gets a first a gain of seven fourth quarter down to the final two minutes and we've got a one score game so it's Raider football as we get you reset They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. On first down, Jacobs. That's a gain of four here in the fourth quarter with them leading by four on the scoreboard. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Coming up on a second and six. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. And it's third down. Throw, car. 
He'll let this go deep for Rollins. And that will be incomplete. Well, from a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they wanted to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. Here's A.J. Cole now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. The Raiders take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together. It's all right, guys. It's caught inside the 25. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Henry Woods. An 80-yard touchdown. And the Raiders have retaken the lead. Might be seeing that one on the highlight shows tonight. The home run ball here in the fourth quarter to take the lead. There's nothing like being aggressive, preaching that to your team, and then following through. All the way through. Go ahead and throw one more up there. Why not? It's been a great game, and we are not done yet. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. First and 10 at their own 23-yard line. Offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. They're only in need of a field goal, a decent amount of time on the clock. So tell me if I'm wrong. You don't have to be too panicked here. No, not at all. I agree with you. And this is where yeah, your preparation yeah, and your confidence comes into play. They've worked on these situations yeah, they this all the time. They practice it all the time. They know what they want to get done. And in a lot of cases, the great competitors, they love this situation. They think they can go ahead and get it done. They practiced it. We'll see if practice makes perfect. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. From midfield, here's Carr. Taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Carl Nassif in there to take him down, and the clock will roll. Eluding the pressure right. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football. 